Welcome to Drive the Future. If you're watching this video right now, you've probably been waiting a long time for Elon Musk's affordable Model 2 to finally arrive. While most media outlets seem to ignore it or don't really know what's going on, we're among the few who can tell you, your wait is almost over. In just a few months, the big reveal you've been waiting for could finally happen. Over the past week, some major hints have appeared showing that the Model 2's production might have started earlier than anyone expected. That means deliveries could begin as soon as late 2025 or early 2026. So do you want to know how Giga Texas is preparing to build the Model 2 this quarter? Why Elon Musk released cheaper versions of the Model 3 and Model Y first? And how he plans to power millions of these new cars when the U.S. power grid is already struggling to keep up? In this video, we'll break it all down. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and join more than 13,700 members who already follow how Tesla is changing the way we drive and live. On October 8, 2025, Tesla officially introduced two new versions of its most popular cars, the Model 3 Standard and the Model Y Standard. These versions were designed to reach more people by lowering prices. On Tesla's website today, the Model 3 standard starts at 36,990, and the Model Y standard SUV begins at 39,990. Tesla managed to reduce prices by about 12%, compared to the higher end models by using cost efficient materials and removing a few luxury features, such as the rear 8 inch screen and heated seats, while still offering over 300 miles of range thanks to the LFP battery pack. Reactions from analysts and investors were mixed. Fund manager Ross Gerber called it a desperate attempt to boost sales after a strong third quarter in California, which might be affected by higher insurance rates linked to FSD safety issues. But many experts from Electrek saw it differently. They believe it's a smart long-term move to increase market share as cheaper Chinese EVs flood the global market. It also helps Tesla prepare to reach its goal of building 2 million affordable cars per year by 2026. These new standard versions aren't just small updates to keep sales going. Elon Musk's real plan is bigger. He's using these cars as live testing grounds, collecting user feedback, testing new technologies, and fine-tuning production lines before launching the truly affordable Model 2. Think about it. If Tesla only wanted to increase short-term sales, they could have simply cut prices on current models. But instead, they built entirely new, standard versions of the Model 3 and Model Y, showing they're laying the foundation for the next generation of Tesla vehicles. Tesla has done this before. Back in 2016, they launched budget-friendly versions of the Model S, which eventually led to the launch of the Model 3 in 2017 and that decision boosted sales by 300%. The same playbook is being used again, setting the stage for the Model 2. By creating updated and cheaper versions of existing cars, Tesla gathers real-world data, lowers production costs, and trains its factories to scale up efficiently. This process naturally leads to something new, a more affordable, mass-market car designed to explode in popularity. Now, it's almost certain that this upcoming vehicle is the long-awaited Model 2, expected to cost under $25,000. Tesla has been testing prototypes covered in camouflage on California roads. Some people mistake them for the new Model 3, but their smaller size gives them away, around 15-20% shorter than the Model 3, with a hatchback shape not seen in any other Tesla. We've analyzed this design in our previous videos, so if you want more details, check them out later. After Tesla's record-breaking third quarter of 497,000 vehicle deliveries, Giga Texas suddenly paused production on October 3rd and 4th, 2025. Drone footage by Joe Techtmeyer showed that the entire delivery lot was empty after Q3 deliveries, meaning Tesla cleared out everything before making big factory upgrades. On-site photos showed major retooling happening workers installing new steel structures, underground pipes, and rebar cages to expand power and production capacity. This wasn't routine maintenance. Tesla was clearly upgrading for higher output. A similar pause happened at Giga Shanghai in 2023 before launching the Model 3 Highland. Now Giga Texas seems to be following that same path, but this time it's preparing for the Model 2, 
When production resumed on October 6th, Tesla publicly focused on the Cybertruck. But behind the scenes, new robots, cranes, and modular workstations were being installed, perfect for Tesla's new unboxed manufacturing process, which can cut production costs by nearly 50%. At the same time, over in the second building called Cortex-2, Tesla was preparing to host the Optimus Gen 2 robots, the company's next-generation humanoid robots. The roof there is already about 75% complete, and the plan is to have around 1,000 robots working by the end of 2025. This could make Giga Texas the most automated car factory in the world, reducing human labor by up to 80% and cutting car build time down to just 15 seconds. All signs point to one thing. This massive investment in automation push is clearly for the Model 2 project. But there's another big question. How will Tesla power 2 million new Model 2s when the American power grid is already under pressure? Many people fear that a flood of new EVs could overload the grid. But the truth is the opposite. The U.S. grid is getting stronger and smarter, and Tesla is playing a big role in that progress. According to the Energy Information Administration's report from October 2025, total U.S. electricity supply is expected to reach about 4,191 billion kilowatt hours in 2025 and grow to 4,600 billion by 2026. Over 90% of new energy capacity added this year came from solar and wind, a huge boost for clean energy. California and Texas alone have added over 30,800 megawatts of renewable power, enough to supply around 25 million homes. An average Tesla uses about 3,500 to 4,000 kilowatt hours per year. So even if 2 million Model 2s were charging regularly, they'd need about 7 to the 8 billion kilowatt hours annually, less than 0.2% of the nation's total projected energy supply in 2026. In short, the grid can handle it easily, and Tesla isn't relying on the grid alone. They're expanding their supercharger network faster than ever. In Q3 2025, Tesla added 395 new stations and 3,262 charging stalls worldwide. Most are V4 superchargers that work with all NAC standard EVs. The new Tesla diner in Hollywood, Los Angeles, is now the world's largest charging site with 80 stalls and operates 24-7. Completely ready for the Model 2 wave. Tesla is also building smarter energy systems with its new generation megapacks and virtual power plants. With the new bi-directional charging system, V2G, V2H, Model 2 owners can send energy back to the grid or power their homes when needed. This means instead of causing strain, millions of Model 2s will help stabilize the power system, charging when energy is abundant and giving it back when it's needed most. By the end of 2025, the total virtual power plant capacity in the U.S. reached about 37.5 gigawatts, equal to several large power stations, much of it powered by EVs and Powerwall batteries. As more Model 2s hit the road, this system will only grow stronger. The countdown to Tesla's Model 2 has already started, and what's coming next could redefine what affordable means in the EV world. So if you want to stay ahead of every Tesla update, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Subscribe to my channel for the updates, and thank you for watching my videos. See you soon in the next one.